Here's a secret master chain that I guarantee will get your music to an industry standard loudness. So first I have a sibilance remover and this will help to get rid of those resonant frequencies that you don't want. This isn't completely necessary because I know Sooth 2 can be kind of a hassle if you don't have it. The next is Fruity Wave Shaper or any type of saturation that's going to introduce more harmonic frequencies into the higher ranges. And I turned that up quite a bit, about 8.5%. And after I show you all the effects, then I'll do a before and after. So next I have a soft clipper. It works kind of the same as a regular limiter, except it's more of rounding off the top of the edges instead of just completely squashing it. And this just makes it a little bit easier on the limiter. Next I have a tad bit of fruity distortion. If you don't have any other distortion, I would use this. Next I have a regular limiter and I turn the ceiling down just to capture those top frequencies. Turn the saturation on just a tad bit and the threshold slightly below the ceiling of the limiter and the ratio kind of up but not too much. The reason why mastering is so important is because when you upload it to streaming services they're going to compress it. Any dynamic frequency that's louder than all of the rest those ones are going to be kind of telling where the compressor to stop. You want to have more of a flat waveform instead of having spikes with like your kicks or your snare drums punching through because then those are going to be the parts that are mainly compressed and everything else will just be way reduced behind it. And then fruity compressor. So you can either put this before or after the limiter but not the final limiter just one of the ones in between. And this compressor and I'm sure a lot of other ones will have a master preset and I chose that for this one. Now if you have FL Studio, the stock maximizer is Maximus and this also has mastering presets as well. You have the low, mid, high band and then the master band, the pre-gain which is the audio going in before it's affected by any of the compressors within this plugin and then the post gain which is affecting the volume after it exits any of those processes. Built-in saturation, stereo separation, and this is a compressor slash limiter. But if you have ozone, you can let AI analyze your song. It'll automatically add some effects to it. Or you could just build the same exact master chain using stock plugins with what you're using. So it's really just about saturation, distortion, compression, limiting. And then after that, gain. And I really like Ozone because it has everything built into one and it kind of does some of the work for you. I wouldn't copy the exact settings that I have here just because this is, you know, a specific track. But I have another compressor here, an exciter, which is a form of saturation, an imager, which is stereo enhancement, dynamic EQ, and then the maximizer, which is the final limiter that I have. I tend to like to put the ceiling up quite a bit and the threshold down just because when you put the ceiling down that's like the maximum loudness and then you're just going to be reducing the volume but in some cases that might make more sense and now let's do a before and after so i'm going to play the unmastered and then i'm going to play the mastered That's how you get maximum loudness. 